and it's kind of like this berry. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shayi, and this is The Daily Shayi, where we talk about all things life, beauty, style, etc, etc. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and being a real one. I attempted to recreate a Jackie Aina makeup look. Jackie, 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 Shayi, 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 Shayi. If y'all would like to see me recreate this look, with Jackie as she takes us step by step, then just continue watching. So we are gonna hop right into it. Let me play the video. So she starts off with primer. Um, I'm just gonna use my usual primer, which is the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business. So then she takes translucent powder, and this is like her, I would say her signature step that I feel like everybody started. Well, okay, perhaps it was already being done, but I had no idea about it until she said it on her channel. So this is a step that I do every so often when I, I guess, want like a beat beat. Whoa, I think I went a little too, got a little too excited, <laughs> calm down. So I'm just using my Minted Cosmetics uh, translucent powder in the shade medium deep. Okay, so then she goes in and color corrects around her chin area with the, I think it's like the Live Tinted Hue Stick. I do not have that stick. Granted, I feel like I might just get it. I'm just gonna use my NARS Benares foundation because that color is pretty red on me. All right, then she blends it out. That color is hella red. This is nowhere near as red as that. Oh, she's setting where she put the uh, the red <coughs> color. All right, so more setting powder. I actually have never done this before. Oh. I'm gonna take my first Southeast Skin Tooler. This is like my secret weapon for foundation. Okay, so she's taking that Far Sally Skin Tune Blur. I do not have that. Um, that thing is like, $50. I, I saw it at Sephora and I was like, maybe like a while ago. And I was like, maybe I'll get it. But I was like, not for that price tag. So we're just going to skip over that. She's taking chai and I am also in the shade chai. I have the all nighter Urban Decay. So I guess I'll just use this one. She uses the NYX number three brush, which I do have. Actually my favorite brush that I got because of her. Also making sure to blend that foundation into my um, lace <laughs> because we don't want to be clocked out here. She said, don't think I forgot. If you already gotten this far, then you know, make sure to subscribe. So you know what? I'm gonna say the same thing. If you're liking what you're seeing, if you've seen other videos and you just happen to come across this one, I'm here to welcome you with open arms into the family. <laughs> this is me giving you a virtual hug, which I'm sure we're all used to now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then she takes the Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer, which I do have. So she has Chestnut, which. I have Chai actually as the highlighting shade. Chestnut I believe is a shade lighter than this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Chai and use it as like a initial base. And since this is Clur makeup, I feel like you want the highlight to be a little bit more. So I'm gonna apply a lighter shade right on top of it. I'm gonna go on with the Stay Woke Concealer from Wilma Beauty, and this is the shade Brown Sugar T2. And this shade, it said it was my concealer highlighting shade. I felt like it was a bit too light, but for this look, it will do the job. It's like a tad bit lighter than Chai, but the coverage on this and the like formula, oh, mixed with the Born This Way Concealer, oh, it's so good. She said to let it dry down can get sort of tacky and get a bit more full coverage.
I'm going to blend all that out. I just want to make sure that I make sure that everything is melted nicely onto my skin. Oh, she's using the Ashley Blaine Featherson bronzer. I didn't know she was going to use this in the video. <laughs> this is literally my favorite bronzer. I freaking love it. It's so good. And I use the season two shade. Honestly, a little goes a long way, like she said. Like, I always, always, always do this and that because if I don't dust it off, low-key, I get way too much product on my on my brush. But even like that little product just goes a long way to add some definition to my face. For that bronzer, I actually used the NYX number no. two brush, which is more of like a fanned out, but it's like not super densely packed, so the bristles are kind of much more movable which I love put some under my chin we're finally putting powder on oh child because <laughs> so I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier translucent powder in translucent the original shade and I have the little mini version she's taking the Fenty Beauty powder and I think butter oh cashew this one sort of is giving me a similar shade she does not bake and neither do I actually. I don't know why, but baking under my eye leaves my eyes feeling so ashy. It's like, and suck dry and dehydrated. Like if I get a little bit more creasing just because I don't bake, then that's fine because the, I don't like the way it looks when it's, when it's like baked, oh God. All right, so this is something I don't really do, but she takes powder down the bridge of her nose. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the little e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and just do one of these. So she does her brows off camera, so I'm just gonna quickly also do my brows. All right, got the brows on. Definitely makes me feel like the look is coming together. So she uses the concealer, the Too Faced concealer as an eye primer. <gasps> you guys, my entire highlighter from this set just literally spilled all over me moving on she places the concealer on her lid like so like that in the words of our good sis tabitha who honestly her recent um successes and stuff is just really beautiful to witness i think you see someone who has put a lot of time and effort into their craft not only like obviously like online but offline like the woman has been definitely working and put in i guess paying her dues as some people would say and yeah she's seeing the fruits of her labor and from a platform that people said was only for like gen z and she's definitely not gen z and you know she took what her talents and applied it on that platform not even really like focused on like her acting but more so just on you know her personal lifestyle which was or which is being vegan and boom wham wham blew up and you know because of that opened the doors for her other passion which is her acting career to to have its have its moment so anyway she didn't she never gave up on her dream of being an actor i mean she was she was acting like she was never like not acting at least i don't think so and so but she did allow herself to sort of pivot and do other things that still kind of explored her other interests and it was just encouraging anyway that's a quick little little message so she does the thing that i always do which is like this thing where you put the bronzer right here in this area of your nose to kind of give you a little structure right there so we're getting to the eye we're almost done she uses her palette which <clears throat> i do have you know what's interesting about ginger is that in the pan it looks like kind of light like it low-key looks lighter than my skin but on the eye it picks up darker like that don't look like the same shade sorcery all right, so then she takes credit, which is the darker, like, brown shade in the palette that I've definitely hit pan on. So essentially just right here. Oh, I freaking love credit. 
I know I've said this a million times. I've said it so many times, but it's just a really nice shade. And now I'm like, low key, can you sell this as a single shadow? Because I'm about to run out and I'm not gonna have to buy a whole new palette just for this shade. Oh, she's bringing it like in. Okay. I just dipped my finger, dipped my brush in. And I'm kind of bringing that in. I like basic with a tad of extra this, which I think this look is going to give me. All right. She's taking Dwellers. It's that kind of goldy, greeny, reflexy. I don't know why I keep saying E, goldy, green, reflexy shade. Bloop. I feel like I may have brought credit a little too deep. All right, so she's taking a brown eyeliner. It's from Pat McGrath. I do not have that, but I do have this brown one from Revlon. And it's their uh, vinyl eyeliner in the shade Mate Mocha, which is basically like a black brown. She's lining her waterline with that. That instantly makes the eyes look way more like sultry. Oh, she puts it on the top lash line. Okay. Not a step I normally do, but for you, Jackie, I will. Ooh, that looks patchy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, then she places credit on top of where we put that liner. Okay. Oh, that does make it look very pretty. Wow. Because it's like a dark brown, it kind of gives you that smokiness that you get with the black shadow, but without the super, super intensity, which I do really like. I'm just gonna kind of blend that in a bit more. So then she moves on to lashes, but these are from a black owned brand called Nawal Lashes and the style I am using, I believe is gassed up. This is like freaking surgery. So she lets that dry and then she moves on to the rest of her face. Her very famous inner tear duct highlight. She takes Soleil. Oh, I have really never hit Soleil, but we're gonna do the same. All right, so she's using like a pinkish based blush. So I'm gonna go on with the Minted Cosmetics Buried Away blush. And it's kind of like this berry. Like this berry. Oh my God. That one wasn't even cracked. I literally have no words right now. Literally, my entire table is literally cracked makeup. I'm, are you serious? Hey, well, I'm just going to take whatever remnant was, there was nothing left. Like, I just picked it up from the table and put it back in the pan. I meant it, okay. What is happening? Just keep it pushing and apply it on my cheeks. Her shade is more like a bubbly pink, but I don't have a shade like that, so. I'm just gonna take regular pink. I can't even talk properly. I feel like I wanna shed some tears. All right, time to apply the lash. I cannot apply lashes to save my life, Lord. Is the glue not dry? <laughs> Come on, I need something to work out here. I don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> just taking a highlight and it looks like a more goldy highlight. So I have this one from Revlon and it is their Skin Light Highlight. She takes Urban Decay and she sets her makeup. She uses a beauty blender to press the setting spray into her skin. Never done that before, but all right. I almost feel like she went in with um, eyeshadow on her bottom lash line, but just forgot to tell us. So I'm gonna quickly do that because I feel like something is missing under here, unless I missed it. There we go, because I was feeling like something was missing. So she's taking a brown lip liner. I'm gonna use that same eyeliner and just use that as my lip liner. She takes this kind of like pinkish, nude-ish. This is a color that I really don't use, but it looks good on her. This is matte. Lord, this is dry. I'm gonna go in with uh, my usual chocolate for breakfast liner from our liner it's the lip whip from beauty bakery and i'm just gonna line my lips again 
This color is very like grayish pink. Not a fan, but we're gonna stick with it. Then she takes a more like goldy kind of lip gloss from Pat McGrath. I have this one from the Minted Times ABF collection. Loki, this might be a dupe for that shade because it has like this gold reflex, kind of like gold green. I thought I gotta use the right lipstick color, but it's okay. This is the final look. Let me just take off my scarf and adjust my hair. Woo chow, that was a, uh, this video was chaotic. I, I, just, I never would have expected it. I'm very happy with the way my face is looking right now. I'm not mad at it at all. Not one bit. I mean like that setting spray technique before and after the makeup application, definitely keeping that. My lash is kind of like doing its own thing, but that's okay. That's all right. The lip color, I'm actually happy with it. I did apply a bit more brown because I do like a more nudey brown lip. But overall, I actually do really like this look. Like I feel glam AF. Again, nowhere to go, nobody to see, nothing to do. But as always, I appreciate y'all for tuning in in today's video and I will catch y'all in my next one. Until next time, bye. Flip it in a double.